Uh, so my name is Nigel Hussey, I'm an Associate Professor in Integrated Biology at the University of Windsor here in Canada. I've been studying the Greenland shark for 11 years. So yeah, Greenland sharks are considered to, to get to an age as around sort of 270, 280 years. The main focus of that, that research is understanding its ecological role in Arctic food webs. You know, one understanding, you know, its ecological role. What's the role of this particular species? Is it a top-down species, i.e. it's regulating from as a top predator? Or many people believe it's a scavenger, which would, you know, sort of give it a different basis. Its sort of role would be more at the base of the food web rather than the top-down regulator. So it, it's a unique animal because one, it's the, one of the slowest or the slowest fish uh, in the ocean, but when we look at the diet of Greenland sharks, we commonly find marine mammals in the diet, seals uh, and even the whales, the endemic whales like narwhal in the stomach contents. And so there's this real conundrum of how this extremely slow swimming animal uh, can actually feed on this very fast moving agile prey. So if the, the key for the Greenland shark is there is very minimal data on this animal, but it is one of the high bycatch species in fisheries in the Arctic, and fisheries are developing very rapidly as sea ice recedes in that particular area. And so generating data on the movement, its ecological role, for example, post-release behavior from fisheries from commercial boats, all of this data is absolutely key to inform management strategies moving forward.